Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. How to jump on the digital revolution. Now, if you're a coach, consultant, or entrepreneur, you know that a lot more people are spending time at home right now and they're buying online. So you as a coach, consultant, and small business owner, your service business needs to meet them there. What is it that you're doing um, in order to find people or your target audience right where they are currently? I mean, if you've been paying attention, obviously everybody has made you pay attention. We are just uh, coming out of a very long and tedious Uh, lockdown scenario that has been brought about um, by the uh, pandemic. And we know that a lot more of our customers, a lot more of people in general are now either working from home or operating from some sort of remote location. And us as coaches, consultants, and small business owners, we need to be reaching these audiences in order for us to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, at the end of the day, we all know that as entrepreneurs or as business people, we are trying to, one, reach our audience, two, engage with that audience with relevant content, and then three, motivate that audience to take a desired action. And most of the time, we want these people to buy from us. We want them to connect with us and eventually become our ambassadors. And obviously, when you have more people within your business buying and sharing your content, your business becomes profitable and enjoyable. Now, as the question comes through, how are we going to be able to find and reach our customers now that they are much more secluded and uh, tucked in the comforts of their own homes, okay? And at the end of the day, you might be asking yourself as well, how do I overcome the clutter of all the online sort of information or content that are out there or all the social media hype that's happening? And how do you actually cut through that noise and At the same time, using all these overwhelming technologies, you know, like Zoom and the etiquette that you actually need to be doing in order for you to actually continuously sell your products and perpetuate your brand. I think it was in 2020 where the actual, um, you know, phrase that was actually common in that year was you are on mute. So I'm going to pause that phrase onto you right now and say, hey, you might be out there, you might be looking for influence or awareness with your audience, but with all this noise and clutter out there and a lot of confusion that our customers are going through right now, you are on mute. And how do you get out of that? How do you uh, become relevant in an, in your audience? And how do you organize and leverage your business effectively so you can connect with this audience, increase sales, and get loyalty from these customers, and then get the business breakthrough that you actually need to build your online empire? Now, if you ask a lot of people, um, you know, because we're a digital agency, just in case you haven't grasped that, um, a lot of people, we ask them, so before you came to us, how were you um, um, getting these leads? And half of the time you get people telling us that they use word of mouth, okay? Word of mouth, which is basically Sally telling Sally at a barbecue uh, or at a dinner or at a function that, um, yeah, they're using your services and they're actually happy with the results that they're receiving. Now, let's really be honest with each other right now. With all the social distancing, with all the masks within um, locations, people are now no longer wanting to go out. And there's this whole um, 
apartheid that has been brought about whether you've been jabbed or you haven't been jabbed so let's count that if you are counting your business to be perpetuated by word of mouth nowadays that is now um you know a, a fallacy or some sort of um you know fantasy because not a lot of people are literally going out and especially in melbourne where i live a lot of people used to sort of work within the cbd and now they're operating from home and half of the people that are living um you know in in areas that are way far from the city would not even want to bother themselves attending events these days simply because of all the uh, stay-at-home orders that people have now become accustomed to okay so we now have millions of people working from home there's no more um you know pressing flesh or pounding uh the pavement reaching out to people in their offices because now everybody's just wary about contracting the virus so they would rather have a zoom communication and how are you as a coach or consultant readying yourself and your business um, you know, to jump onto this digital bandwagon in order for you to actually keep relevant and and um, keep uh, selling your know, products to your uh, prospects. Okay, so a lot of people, like I mentioned, are now working from home, and this number has skyrocketed. Um, I think from year 2020 to 2021, as this whole current global crisis is spreading across the whole world, and with new variants coming in every single day, people are just deciding to stay put and wait until the the storm settles, so to speak. So many businesses are now realizing that remote work can actually be uh, very efficient in as much as that's where their um, team members are actually much more comfortable working from home. And it's actually even more efficient. I'm running a, a 15 man uh, team that I wouldn't have been able to do had these people, um, you know, been located all in Melbourne and all living close to where I would have wanted to situate the office. But guess what? Now we've got talent from all over the globe that is actually coming in to create for and relate to our audience. Now, I'm, I'm not the only person that's um, enjoying this remote uh, access to a pool of talent that we can work with. Um, I even had a call the, not so long ago with somebody who's worked for Facebook who is now looking for freelance work. Now, can you imagine if I could afford to pay him, wouldn't I want the notoriety or the pride of knowing that I'm employing somebody that Mark Zuckerberg wants employed? So you can imagine your clients out there are also enjoying, um, you know, those luxuries of having people that are actually really good at what they are uh, talking about without the overheads of having to pay for um, commercial space within uh, the city for them to have their teams in one place. So these benefits have actually led a lot of companies to keep their employees from uh, working at home much longer than originally anticipated. If you would notice right now in your news feed, you will notice a lot of people are actually working from home so if you have contacts within your crm that have given you a landline that goes to an office nine times out of ten most of those people are not answering from their office those numbers have probably been diverted to a mobile phone or something like that which they can uh, reach out to uh, remotely and with all the tools and technology that we have right now yes you might have um, a voice over internet protocol that just directs all the information to some sort of crm or service management or project management platform okay so with so many people spending their majority of time at home and really avoiding physical interaction like i i haven't left my house in the last two months and i've had clients coming over to my place uh, simply because they still have that traditional um feel that they want to get in touch with the person that they're going to be uh dealing with but slowly a lot of people are much more comfortable sitting in the comfort of their home and um you know doing a zoom call we now even have started within our african community a networking event where we are 
you know, working with uh, experts and consultants from all over the world that are of African descent. And now that all has been made possible because of uh, remote connections using tools and platforms like Zoom. So guess what? In your environment right now, that is what is happening. And if you notice that you're sending emails and maybe all you're hearing is crickets and nobody's actually answering your calls or things of that nature, maybe those offices are not manned anymore. There's now uh, a lot of the people, you know, connecting to their offices or attending work, so to speak, from a remote location. So you as a coach, consultant and service business owner, you need to adapt to how you can actually start reaching this current and new customer by getting your digital affairs in order. Okay. Because our customers now want to interact from home. I kid you not. If you're in Australia, you would know that when the pandemic hit, people started, um, you know, getting access to their super funds. And people started getting access, um, you know, to what was called JobKeeper, which was a payment that was given to uh, employees. These are major financial decisions that they made through their own mobile phone. So you can imagine if they have done major financial uh, decisions through their mobile phone, they can now trust anything else that they, um, you know, receive uh, through the phone. Okay. So customers now want to interact with um, people that they are going to be doing business with from home. Okay. Now this is now the new normal and many people um, favoring a lot of less physical contact okay people are just you know back in the time people were entertaining their neighbors they were throwing a few beers and australia you know we have a lot of barbecues and they were talking about who's doing their loan and who's doing their hair and where they're buying you know their properties from but how do you reach customers in the new paradigm where you have maybe orders from, you know, the health uh, officials saying only five people are allowed at any given time in any given location, okay? So you will notice that with customers now staying at home, word of mouth referrals are now starting to dwindle for especially people that are in the service sector you know i'm talking about coaches consultants and entrepreneurs word of mouth is now a thing of the past and as a result it's it's now a, a, an unusual thing because not a lot of people have enough time to then relax enough to remark about your products and services now for this reason it's much more important than ever for you as a coach or consultant or service business to actually start reaching these customers through new channels and streamline their purchase experience what have you done to actually identify your target market and clarify your message and create um you know um a buyer's journey that is actually defined so that your customers know what the next logical step is okay so the more friction um, you know, you are presenting for people to actually buy from you or to contact with you, the less their service will, the less your service is going to be consumed by these work from home uh, millennials or younger generations that actually hate to pick up the phone. So if you notice a lot of people, if you have a call to action that says call us, people will sniff through your website. And if they don't find that information that they are looking for, they are not going to physically request for a phone call, you know, and it has actually been documented. Look this up. Okay. It's been documented that millennials are less likely to pick up the phone to request a call. So for several reasons, they were not brought up in the phone era that you have to speak to people when you can actually like comment and share. And that's their means of communication. Okay. So if they can't, if, if your website is not answering, um, any of their questions during their research, they believe it's actually easier to move to the next website rather than waiting for your call. So this is one of the things that you really want to look at in your, in, in your website. Are you just having one call to action to ask people to give you a call or request a call back? Because that could actually be limiting, um, you know, your means of reaching out to an audience that is not used, um, you know, to having phone conversations that, pertain to their business now a lot of traditional businesses have actually also moved to remote 
operations. Back in the time, you know, you needed to have your accountant, your lawyer, um, your HR person, and anybody else that need was needed to run your business uh, in close proximity. All of these things can now be operated in the cloud. <laughs> I actually have a window outside and I looked up when I mentioned the word cloud and it's like, a bit overcast so now i can't even know or i can't even check out which cloud has all my data you know so there's tools like zero there's tools like uh, crms that are cloud pleasers yeah where people are now actually um, you know connecting to your business from anywhere in the world so traditional businesses that usually had physical operations or interactions with customers they've actually seen their Operations move to remote situations. Can you believe you can actually buy a car without physically going to the, um, you know, uh, dealership? Because the car can be delivered to your house and then the person leaves the keys and everything else. And then you go into the car, you drive it, and then they pick it up without you even talking to some sort of salesperson. You are now just basing all of that information um, based on the information that is on the website. Okay. So, all these traditional businesses have actually moved to remote operations. Now, this includes law firms um, and other consult other consultative um, service providers like your accountant, like I mentioned, the uh, HR uh, providers, etc. Because prior to this global pandemic or crisis, it would have it would have been a bit odd for you to sit down and speak to your conveyancer or to speak to your attorney so that you can draft your will over Zoom because it was unheard of. But Ever since, you know, the whole social distancing thing has come through, nothing is impossible. You know, anything can be done and achieved using, um, you know, the technology that we now have. Even if you look at your iPhone right now, they're moving towards making FaceTime one of the most prominent things um, of the phone itself. It's no longer you talking to people. And if you're actually living in Australia, you would notice that talk is getting cheaper and cheaper what i'm trying to say here is your service provider is no longer charging exorbitant fees for you to actually talk over the phone back in the time i know it used to be very expensive to have interstate calls or even international calls now why pay for an exorbitant phone bill i've actually thought about this why am i still paying for my phone bill when i can use whatsapp facebook messenger when i can use all of these um tools online for free maybe i just need the number but obviously this is something that could be a thing of the past or antiquated um you know sometime soon but ever since then people and attorneys and some of your colleagues are now doing their operations completely remotely and this includes maybe onboarding new clients holding appointments even drafting wills and revising legal documents and so much more is now being conducted online so you want to make sure that you've got a proper booking system we normally use uh calendly or another tool called book like a boss that you have to embed on your website so that people can just schedule a time for you to have a zoom chat with you you know because there are hundreds and hundreds of business examples out there that are going online and literally closing their brick and mortar locations so if you're still holding on to an office Please make sure that you've got an online component to it as well. Because guess what? These people are attending church online. So if you are going to be so difficult and make it hard for them to, um, you know, to have a consultation with you that doesn't involve them coming to your office, then grand opening, grand closing. Okay. So I know there's a lot of businesses that are going to be closing in, in, in Australia and a lot more uh, retail shops um, have threatened to close just simply because their online uh, side of business is actually going gangbusters, you know, because a lot of these traditional businesses are now starting to see less walk-in customers. It no longer is about location, 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 uh, especially if you've got an office where there's a lot of foot traffic. These days, not a lot of people are coming to um, the shops and everybody's just looking down on their phone and just looking to see if the place that they're going to hasn't been an exposure site for COVID. So not a lot of people are going to see your sign outside there. So you better move online just so that you limit the friction that happens within the uh, sales uh, process that you have there. 
So if you really notice what I'm talking about here, you would also know that I might have a few solutions to your problem. And you're probably thinking, getting clients is hard. I want you to think again, because we're taking our uh, small to medium business and uh, co- co- coaches and consultants that were earning maybe just 200,000 uh, last year. And we want to take them to start earning about $2 million in the next two years, because as a consultant and a um, uh, coach, you are literally a global small business. You no longer have to just wait for people down the road to come and patronize your business. Okay. You no longer are linked to geography and you need to be expanding your business globally. That's where most of your clients are. If you're in Australia, you're dealing with maybe what 25 million people as a population of which 5 million are eligible for whatever services that you are trying to bring out at any given moment. All right. So you see, you've got a small pond to be dealing with. Whereas if you go to places like America, New Zealand, Canada, and all that places, you now widen the scope and the net of how you can, um, you know, help people. And eventually you can actually start doing all of this uh, online. So how are you going to be adapting to the times that we now live in where the screen is now the actual gold rush okay so no matter what business you're in you might be a coach a consultant or a small business owner it's really important to actually adapt quickly and this involves getting online and finding your audience there okay so i'm gonna try and just give you a few ways that we're helping our people with the first thing that i've been alluding to obviously update your company website because the first thing you're gonna do is maybe do a, an audit of your website and make it easy to actually look for things like um, speed changes, loading times, and the overall user experience. And if you're wondering how can you do an audit for your website, you want to go onto our website, which is www.livelongdigital.com.au, and we've got a website audit tool there that you can actually utilize immediately okay and um yeah find out how your website is performing so that you can actually start reaching this wider audience or these prospects that you never thought you could reach out in the first place all right so just make sure that your website is allowing people to actually buy because that's the whole point maybe you you might not realize but you're not giving um you know people a logical flow of how they can actually contact you or how they can purchase your product or your services without having to interact with you. Because some people might just want to have a quick answer. So if you don't have frequently asked questions, if you don't have blogs or content or video, that actually just explains why somebody is at that website and they're in the right place. Nine times out of 10, they're not going to do anything else. Okay. So you want to make sure that your site is visibly, um, giving all these call to actions and (laughs) above all is actually visible online and you want to use search engine optimization for that so if you want to find out how you can get um your site optimized uh for seo just jump onto our website livelongdigital.com.au and let me tell you something the future brings um with it a lot of unknowns we're going to be going in and out of these lockdowns so you you're better off prepared to make a lot of sales without interacting your clients and make the process easier for them. You know why? Because they are already buying candy or Christmas presents from other places like Amazon and the whole process is frictionless. All right. And one other thing that we should actually be doing now is we already have customers, right? We already have our own clients currently. You need to continuously engage with these clients online because out of sight, out of mind. If these people were maybe passing by your office every second week or so and you'd raise your hand and they would know you're still there, they still need to know that you are still present, okay? So your your social media, uh, your emailing, your newsletters, just keep people um, confident that whatever they are doing with you, you haven't just disappeared Uh, And they're never going to see results or their money that they have paid you. So you need to engage with your current customer base online often. I've heard somewhere that says that 
If you don't speak to somebody for 30 days, they're not your client or your customer anymore. All right. So check within your communications at least twice within that month. What are you, are you sending them how to guides, listicles or video tutorials just to show them that you're still relevant and that they're not going to get bias uh, remorse because right now the borders have been closed physically, but they're open internetly. If that's a word, internetly <laughs> online, all the borders are open, man. So whether you do it via email marketing or uh, newsletters, social media accounts, engaging with your current customers, is quite easy. And you can actually build a lasting relationship without having to see them often. Okay. And you also want to encourage your current customers to comment, leave reviews, and actually share your content that you're distributing online. That will then create, um, you know, um, um, you know, customer, you know, those customer testimonials will create um, a good user experience for new customers coming in, and also social proof. Okay, and I mentioned earlier on, include frequently asked questions on your website so your customers don't have to pick up the phone because they don't want to. Okay, even if calling is now cheap right now, they just don't want to. Okay, so and also maybe videos to explain, you know, complex uh, things and maybe how to uh, guides or listicles and any other type of content that actually positions you as an expert within your own field okay and i did mention uh social media right there get social with new landing pages all right you know you want to create engaging uh social media content and also a social media strategy that is actually paid and backed by um you know paid engagement okay you, you right now you can reach anyone in the world as long as you just put a bit of boost to your content you know, but you want to be driving that engagement to a specific landing page with either a purchase option or a an, an option for them to get onto a call with you or something of that nature. You know what? Commerce is still happening. Economics hasn't died. Have you noticed that in the last two years, this has been the largest um, cash grab for people that are already established? You know, people went to the moon. Uh, I mean, people went to space. Both the three dudes, Branson, Elon Musk, and um, uh, what's the other guy, uh, Blue Origin, uh, Jeff Bezos. He went to the moon because they got so much money to spend. And they were spending over $2 million a, a minute just to do 11-minute flight um, to, to, to space and back. So the world hasn't stopped. Okay, if you were sitting there and thinking, oh, okay, we'll wait until things open. Well, guess what? You're missing out on what is the biggest cash grab on the internet right now. But it's happening more remotely than it was ever before, okay? And having an easy, um, you know, online conversion is a huge step above the competition because guess what? They're still chilling and waiting for customers to knock on their doors right now. And it ain't going to happen. All right, so what's the bottom line? There's no way around this, okay? Whatever you're going to be doing, um, you know, if you're going to continue to move further uh, with whatever you've been doing, good luck. But we're going to continue to move further into a remote-based online society. So you want to make a solid effort to streamline how your company communicates and how you're selling to your customers. And you want to do this as soon as possible so that you capitalize on the new normal and grow with the times okay so at the end of the day we're here to help you start scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable and the way we do this is by giving you advice like this so that you are ahead of the curve and you're ahead of your competition because a lot of people right now are going to be are going to be left in the open because they haven't done anything to reach out to um, new audiences or to connect with their current audiences using remote strategies, all right? And if you haven't done that, or if you're wondering how you can do that, or you're still thinking that uh, getting clients is hard, let me tell you something. You don't need to sacrifice your income just to do what you love, you know? You can have both. I want to walk you through my simple step-by-step -step, uh, plan and show you exactly how this can be done. I'm not a 
online native. I was born in Africa for crying out loud. And I had to learn all of these things. So um, I want to give you stuff that has taken me, um, you know, what you're going to get from us is, 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 is content and information that has costed us thousands, tears and embarrassment for us to learn. And I just want you to get access to this information before your competition does. Because, you know, I, I can understand you asking yourself this question right now. As an entrepreneur, obviously, marketing is just one aspect of running a business. You're going to need to be hiring uh, new staff. You're going to need to be balancing your books. You're going to need to be driving growth and more. It all feels like a constant um, balancing act where you're pulled in multiple different directions. Why don't you let us help you, uh, especially the aspect of you reaching out to your audiences so that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Now, I I could keep going on and on and tell you um, what it is. I know right now you just want to make your, your clients happy. You want to spend as much time as possible changing the lives and solving people's problems. And that's the same thing with me. That is what I wish for you too. I really want you to have a happier existence so that you can actually pass on uh, this happiness to other people that you've got access for. So if you're ready for your best year ever so that you can actually start attracting highly qualified leads who actually want to um, do business with you in less than one hour a week without you tearing out hairs out of your own head there, I really want you to start exploding yourself. So uh, whatever method that you are receiving this podcast, just subscribe to our channel and also download uh, any of the ebooks that we're sending with this podcast so that you too can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Like I mentioned earlier on, service businesses need a digital revolution and this revolution is not going to be televised it's going to be in a news feed or online space um you know in front of you right now if you're not in it then you're missing out uh on the biggest cash and land grab that's happening under our nose i really hope that you uh took heed of this um podcast today because you as a coach or consultant you really need to start meeting your audience um, online. Well, I better go and meet my audience, but please make sure that you are uh, putting your stuff out there so that you can, you too can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable because I know you deserve a successful business and this is the only way for you to do it uh, while you meet your audience online. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the live long digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.